Hello everyone and welcome to a special Christmas episode of Douglas R. Arena's Video Game Reviews. It is that jolly time of year again guys, so it seems right to celebrate that holiday with a Christmas game. Today's game is Jazz Jack Rapids Holiday Hair. I will give you the glorious introduction during the gameplay. So let's go off to see some gameplay. Published in 1994 by Epic Mega Games for standard IBM compatible MS-DOS PCs, Jazz Jack Rabbit was a special boss platformer that played somewhat like the Sonic the Hedgehog games for the Sega Genesis. Epic's objective was to make a fast-paced platformer for the PC that was similar to Sonic. The game was made by Arhan Bruce and Cliff Bazinski. Later that year, Epic released a special Christmas episode of the game, which is the one that we are showing here. There was a version released a year later, Jazz Jack Rabbit's Holiday here in 1995, but that is for another day. This bonus episode of the base Jazz Jack Rabbit game is freeware, and takes place on the planet Holidays. There are only three levels in this episode, plus a bonus level if you happen to get to it. The graphics look rather good for a DOS game, even though it uses 256 color VGA graphics. The soundtrack in this game is, is excellently made. You have the option to use the Gameport gamepad or joystick with this game, so I use my dad's Microsoft Sidewinder gamepad as the controllers on the keyboard are more than a bit clunky. It almost felt similar to playing a game on an emulator with the controls screwed up really bad. I used to play emulators a lot, but I absolutely hate them, and that's also why I did not use DOSBox to play this. As for standing up to a Sonic-style game, the team at Epic did an excellent job of producing this one. Jazz can move very fast around the screen, sometimes faster than Sonic ever could. As you are a jackrabbit, you can pick up carrots to replenish your health. Everything on this planet is out to get you, whether it is bulldogs, dragons, or even magic hands. So you will definitely need your carrots. Between the enemies in this game and other hazards, you will definitely need to eat those carrots. So make sure you eat those darn carrots! I can personally say that although this game was excellent, trying to get it set up was not. Because my CPU speed on the PC I was playing it on was over 233 MHz, and the game was made in Borland Pascal, I had to hunt down a patch and patch both my original Jazz Jackrabbit and the Holiday Hair installations. I wish that they would have thought of this beforehand, rather than make me suffer through trying to get it to work properly. However, I don't even laugh at me because I could have just reused DOSBox to play it on my modern PCs, but I really like using my Windows 98 PC to play MS DOS stuff, darn it. So, do I recommend it? I loved everything about this game except for the struggle to set it up. If you don't mind using DOSBox to set it up or have a system with DOS or a Windows version old enough to play it, and you have a 233 MHz processor, go ahead. I have the link in the video description. I will also provide a patch to the, to the game so that you can get it to run on systems with more than 233 MHz processor. I recommend this game to everyone who has the opportunity to get their hands on it. Even though it is a Christmas game, it still deserves recognition. So play this with your family during the holidays, or even just play it on your own. I recommend it to you either way. If you like this video and would like to see when new ones come out, there's that special subscribe button below the video and tell me that you exist and like watching my videos. Also, check out my Facebook page in the link provided in the description and please consider donating to my videos on Patreon. If you have any hardware or software that you would like to donate to me, you can go to my channel and offer it to me through my email account. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate. Bye bye!